Natural Habituation and the Recurrence of the Tinnitus Problem. Welcome to our YouTube channel. We hope that our efforts based on science and over 15 years of clinical experience regarding tinnitus and its associated problems will provide you with solid knowledge to help you better understand the nature of this condition. Today, we are going to talk about a very important topic which comes up on many occasions during our conversations with tinnitus sufferers during the tinnitus assessment procedure. We are referring to the natural habituation process and problems connected to reoccurring tinnitus symptoms, sometimes reaching catastrophic levels. The picture you're looking at now shows part of the human brain which is designed to make us either aware of specific sensations or disregard them as insignificant without the need for conscious attention. This is one of many safety features in our brain that allow us to function. Due to the limited capacity of our human version of the random access memory chip, we are consciously aware of what truly matters to us in any given moment of our lives. This part of our brain works with all senses and even upper brain memory functions. This makes the habituation process a very important brain function because it allows us not to be aware of stimuli constantly present in our environment. This is why some people who have experienced tinnitus, even at a very intense level, can with time get used to the presence of tinnitus noise to the point that awareness of tinnitus is almost gone. As you know now after watching our videos, Habituation is also included in the tinnitus treatment we are providing our patients within our clinic. Habituation and brain conditioning actually make tinnitus go away. The difference is that with habituation and brain conditioning, chances for tinnitus to return are minimal. Unfortunately, natural habituation doesn't work the same way. And in many cases, with some triggers present, tinnitus can come back at sometimes even catastrophic levels. Most people we are talking about are older people with certain personality types and a history of working in noise for many years. But younger people can experience this type of tinnitus setback as well. It is challenging to habituate tinnitus for the second time in a row. In the case of older people, they have recruitment and hearing loss presence as well, and they usually experience very high level of anxiety. As we have mentioned on multiple occasions, using conventional hearing aids, which are usually programmed to address hearing loss, can exacerbate tinnitus symptoms, leading some individuals to reject the use of amplification altogether. This situation by itself is creating so many problems for them and their family that it takes a team of professionals considerable time to be able to make a difference. There are some proven and universal recommended approaches to tinnitus management, therapy, or treatment. They are recommended by the American Tinnitus Association. They are also effective that they are verified and recommended by College of Family Physicians and Otolaryngologists in most countries, including America, as you can see on the screen. For many years, the most successful way to help tinnitus sufferers is based on the work by an American scientist, Professor Pavel J. Yasterboff, his colleagues, and some specialized therapies offered by the modern psychology such as cognitive behavioral therapy and others. Tinnitus retraining therapy by Professor Yasterboff is a long-term therapy, and it should not be mistaken for sound therapy or masking. Used commonly in many hearing aid clinics. Actually, masking should be avoided as it is known to cause many problems to tinnitus sufferers. Also, hearing aids should not be recommended for all tinnitus sufferers, especially for patients with low sound tolerance. For all people suffering from low sound tolerance symptoms, hearing aids may have a negative effect on tinnitus, making it even more difficult and more annoying. Best known approach to tinnitus therapy includes a highly specialized assessment and test battery. Please don't mistake this procedure with a hearing test. Based on the findings and assessment results, we can provide tinnitus sufferers with all available options, including a highly personalized tinnitus treatment plan. Why are we so certain we can help most tinnitus sufferers? Metro Hearing and Tinnitus Treatment Clinic is one of the few clinics in Ontario and Canada 
specializing in treating tinnitus and other similar disorders for more than 15 years. We feel obligated to share our expertise and working knowledge of tinnitus relief management and removing tinnitus awareness from the minds of people. Our specialists represent a very unique and highly educated group of professionals specializing in all aspects and problems caused by conditions such as tinnitus, misophonia, and hyperacusis. Tinnitus catastrophic level based on tinnitus handicap inventory therapy process will be outlined and explained. Catastrophic level of tinnitus has all elements causing high levels of anxiety, problems with quality of sleep, low tolerance to sound where exposure to sound is known to make the tinnitus noise much louder and worse. For tinnitus sufferers having so many difficulties with tinnitus symptoms, we may recommend treatment or therapy, especially if patients qualify and are willing to work with us, following our instructions and doing their part. Tinnitus treatment is recommended mostly to catastrophic tinnitus level sufferers, and especially to all the people having some additional problems, such as low tolerance to sound, hearing loss, high levels of stress, and anxiety. It is very critical and necessary for the success of the treatment program to address high levels of anxiety and stress caused by tinnitus presence, and very often by some other emotional problems. This part of the highly personalized treatment is provided by a fully certified psychotherapist and registered psychologist. How can bothersome and persistent tinnitus be reduced and eventually eliminated with a proper treatment? There are three major elements used in this type of tinnitus treatments. The first is designed to provide tinnitus sufferers with the quickest and most significant reduction of symptoms. What often complicates this part of treatment is the presence of decreased sound tolerance or the coexistence of conditions such as hyperacusis, misophonia, or phonophobia. In addition, more difficulties are caused by disturbances within the auditory system, which, for example, may cause hearing loss. So, what do we do? First of all, we need to protect tinnitus sufferers from excessive exposure to sounds. This is why we are using a combination device. It has a unique ability to control the loudness of sounds our patient is exposed to using phase noise cancellation and other features. This way, we can ensure that exposure to sounds will not worsen tinnitus symptoms. And when we work with hyperacusis, we initiate hyperacusis treatment based on using specialized equipment and proven to be effective when it's personalized for our patient protocols. Now, having our patient stabilized, we have to address the high levels of the patient's anxiety and fear, connected or not connected to the tinnitus and other existing conditions. This is a highly personalized part of the treatment, and all professionals, such as registered psychologists and therapists, are using the most effective and efficient approach in choosing specific therapies and ways to make a significant difference in a way our patient feels and is affected by anxiety and stress connected or not connected to the tinnitus presence. After reducing or eliminating anxiety, fear, and stress, and helping the patient feel more comfortable with fewer problems caused by decreased sound tolerance, we now can begin the tinnitus habituation phase. This phase is designed to reduce the patient's awareness and sensitivity to tinnitus, which by itself may not be causing any emotional responses or annoyance at any level. It's worth noting that habituation is not the final step in addressing bothersome and persistent tinnitus at a severe or catastrophic level. Tinnitus retraining therapy has been used to treat tinnitus for more than three decades now. But how does it do that? TRT effectively breaks the connections between the auditory, limbic, and autonomic nervous systems. It directly addresses both a decreased sound tolerance, DST, and tinnitus. You see, TRT is scientifically unique because it aims to work above the tinnitus source and at connections linking the auditory and other systems in the brain. So really, at the end, the etiology of tinnitus is irrelevant. It's worth noting, too, that the significance of TRT stems from its proven effectiveness, which has been clinically demonstrated time and time again. In addition, many university clinics have verified that TRT can successfully treat 
all types of tinnitus and somatosounds. sounds. As you know, our clinic currently provides low-cost consultations for a limited time, specifically for those suffering from severe or catastrophic tinnitus. And do not forget about our special offer of one in the clinic visit only program. It is especially designed for all distant patients traveling from different locations in Canada and the US. This program is like the next step of what we've been doing for a long time. It's based on the treatments that we've worked really well in our clinic before. Thank you for watching.